Hey there everybody, welcome back to another Noble Courses tutorial and in today's video we're going to be learning how to create a game very similar to Pet Simulator where we spawn pets and they start to follow our players as well. Let's go ahead, let's get started. Now the first thing that you have to do, don't forget to join the Discord. Over there I will be sending all the scripts and if you need any help you can always ask over there. And the best part is it's completely free. But as soon as you have Roblox with you open, let's go to the toolbox and search for a dog pet. You can choose any one of these, I'm going to choose the first one for today. As soon as you add the pet, make sure it is not anchored. If it is anchored, it will be frozen, it will never move. But we just have one small problem. Let's click on pet, let's search for primary part. Click the empty space in the properties window and then click pet mesh. Once that's all done, click on the pet, go to model, where you have create choose weld. We need to weld the face of the dog with the body. So click on the face, then on the body. Just like that, once you see the green line, that means it's welded. So that means wherever the dog moves, the face will move as well with it. Let's click on Pet Mesh. Let's rename this to Root for now. Once you have all of this done, click on Pet and drag it down to Replicated Storage. As soon as you drop it in Replicated Storage, it will disappear. There you go. So if, it's, if, it, just, just ha if it has just disappeared, you don't have to worry. That's completely normal. Once it's done, let's go to Starter GUI, let's click plus and add a screen GUI. I'll click plus again and we're going to add a text button. It must be a button, so we click on it and then the pet appears. Now I will fast forward this part and you can follow along after as well. Right. So once this is all done, we have the button over here. Our final step is click plus on the screen GUI, sorry, plus on the text button, and we need to add a local script. Once we've added the local script, I will be having the script down in the comments section. So what the script will do is going to search in replicated storage for the pet, which is over here, replicated storage pet. As soon as it finds the pet, and as soon as the player clicks this, the text button over here, it's going to make the pet appear, but then it also follows our player around the map. And it leaves a distance of 10 studs. You can increase this if you want the pet to be further away from you. And it's also going to rotate the pet so it looks wherever your player is looking. So if I'm looking forwards, the pet is also looking forwards. If I'm looking backwards, the pet is also looking backwards. That's all that this does. It's, as soon as the player clicks the button, the pet will appear. So it's going to spawn. And as soon as the pet spawns, then it starts to follow us as well. Take a look at this. So I'll click play. Let's test it out. As soon as I click spawn pet, there is the pet and he's going to follow us all around the game. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. If you did get stuck somewhere, make sure to let me know in the comments or in the Discord. I will be also there to help you. See you all in the next one. Thank you all for viewing. Make sure to like if you enjoyed the video.